Chef Anthony here, Don's Appliances. You guys are in the best booth in the business here. Uh, that's Matt. Matt waved everybody. Matt's on the camera. It's it. He does it's it. shaky hands. He had a couple drinks. But all right, we're, uh, we're going to talk on GE Cafe. So we're talking about induction cookware. So we're going to use the induction cooktop. We're going to make a little bit of taco chili, one of my favorites. All right. You guys ever use induction? Ever hear about it? Ferromagnetic pots create the energy create all the magic. It looks like you're electric, but it's going to heat up so fast. So we're going to crank this guy up. We're going to get this started. We're actually going to heat our pan. We use the uh, app on this guy, so it has the uh, Heston Q app. This is a Bluetooth pan, so it really just sends the Bluetooth signals right to the iPad, and um, it'll correspond with your cookware. So now when we're on induction, the cafe range over here will say precision cooking, and it knows we're using a, a Bluetooth paired pan which is some new technology GE brought, which is outstanding, it's pretty sweet. Kind of makes my job so much easier, but you know, I look real serious doing it, so it'll be really <laughs> fun at it, so it's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna throw some uh, garlic flavored olive oil in there, which, you know, why not? We're gonna heat that pan up. We're gonna get it smoking a little bit. But the cool part about induction is, you know, you're not waiting for the pan to heat, we're not waiting for everything, we can go right into our cooking, all right? Let me move this out of the way. So Matt can check it out a little bit easier, you know. Let me move all my cool ingredients. So I got some seasoned ground beef. We're going to put that in there. We're going to brown it off to kind of get that good flavor going. And you can see, like, even our olive oil now, it's already rippling. Like, when you see that ripple, too, that means it's really, like, it's going to brown and better rock and roll. See? We already get a good sizzle and sear. And like I said, guys, this is, like, salt, pepper, a little fajita seasoning, a little cumin, a little... Garlic, a little chili powder, a little bit of everybody is represented in this, uh, in my mix. So, you know, I don't leave anybody, like, out. So, we're going to brown that off. I'll take first layer of gloves off, keep it super clean for everybody. You know, no one wants my ground beef hands. So, we're going to heat that up, brown it off, throw a little salt and pepper in it. Now, you want to season this in layers, too, gang. You want to add the salt first, you know, just to create a little bit of that caramelization, things like that, right? Matt, you good? Matt's here. You know it's Friday, right? What is it? Is it it's Friday, guys, so, you know. Oh, it's Friday in Lent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen, I give up all year long I go without, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I think I'm old enough. Isn't there, like, an age limit? Yeah, I think I'm old enough that I don't have to, like, you know, partake, right, I feel. So, <laughs> you're right. Stick around later. We're gonna do mo we're gonna do non-alcoholic mojitos on the zip faucet, so that's always fun. But but we're gonna crank this guy up high. We're just gonna brown this all off, quick and easy. And the easy part about it, see how hot this is. But the cool part about the induction is, you know, I can keep my hand here as long as I'm not touching the pot. I'm never gonna get burned because it's only gonna create a magnet and a heating element toward the pot. Okay. So it's nice and easy. We'll let that go for a minute or two. Let's talk about some of our ingredients now. So I got some plum tomatoes, right? And then I have salsa, plum tomatoes. I put a little bit of quinoa and vegetable in there too to like sneak in a little bit of like good protein and a little bit of vegetable. We put corn in it, we put green beans in it, we put beans in it, and then this is this is my secret ingredient. So this is the roasted red pepper puree. So I put a little roasted red pepper puree in it. Kind of brings out that good rich color and we serve it over chips and you know, it's not a bad deal, okay? But now, look how nice and easy this is gonna look, breaking it up. I like this. And here's the best part about like, here's another like great piece about the induction. See how like we got splatter right there? That's not a burner. We can just like wipe that down super clean. So we don't have to worry about it like burning off like you do with everything else. Best part, another great part about the induction, you know? Like even these, I got these plastic cups right here. You know what that would be like on your electric cooktop. That would melt, you know, turn into a mess. Matt, that looks good. I love it. Tell you what, man. Just when I thought I couldn't get any bigger. <laughs> bigger and better, right? 
I like it. You, you said it. Bigger and better. You heard her, Matt. That's it. But guys, so in our GE Cafe suite here, super fun. They gave me a double oven. They gave me an induction. They gave me a great range in the back. I got a convected wall oven. Beautiful stuff, so best booth here. Hi, guys. I know you guys. What's going on? Good to see everybody, huh? Man, who needs PTL? I got my own crew here, huh? Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, now we can cook a little bit later. You know, everybody's like, what? everybody's up, no one's sleeping, you know, it's super early. So this is more my speed of cooking, you know, the round noon is kind of when I get to work. So, all right, guys, we brown this off. We got like a good base. We're going to add some of our veggie in here. And truthfully, I have all these ingredients just because I'm going to do another and make a couple batches for you guys. But, you know, we should really think about the pan. You don't want to overload it. We want to like cook this and stew it. But we don't want to have like, you know, we don't want to have it all that in there. We want to just a little bit of everything. So we're going to fly a little bit of these green beans. Everything here is already cooked too. So this stuff is just going to break down a little bit, play nice in there like that. So it's kind of healthy too. So I wouldn't lie to you. It's just, it's just going to be a, so I know you guys had tater tots this morning. So, you know, I'm trying to even that out for you. We're gonna put some salt in, throw a dash of the pepper in too, just for a little heat, not a lot. Maybe a little more heat than I should. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like the pepper though, okay? So we're gonna put our tomatoes in, our quinoa, and we're gonna to start to get that going. The pepper sauce we're gonna put in last, just because it doesn't need to have that much in there. It's just almost for coloring, and it adds that last bit of seasoning. But even the induction, see how it's boiling evenly? That's what we want to see. I'm going to make a nice tomato Easter. Smells like home, huh? Come on over. That's it. Welcome home. I have no idea. I don't know. I just literally whipped this. They, no, they, they, they picked you off the street, right? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I stayed at like a Holiday Inn last night. You know what? That's what it looks like I make at home. I just get a little bit of leftovers, <laughs> throw them in a pan. Yeah. So this is like a ground beef, like veggies, yeah, like, like a good. little ground beef taco mix yeah, with some go. veggies in it. Throw a little bit of cayenne pepper in it. That's it. You make it hot enough, they'll eat it. Okay, yeah, crew? Well, I love that. No, yeah. The heat, the heat kind of kills the flavor. You don't have to worry. bad, it's still going to taste good. You're right. That's it. They're still keep going for more water. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I mean, he's a good guy. He knows what he's talking about. But yeah, so see how the tomato, we're breaking that down. Almost getting that thicker sauce. It'll thicken us up nice. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. And now if we want to, now, you know, we're still on high, but if we want to crank it down, we can go right to that low and see how the induction goes really fast. Now we're, now we're, we went from boiling at 220, a roll and boil, and now we're at super low. So isn't that sweet? So you talk about precise cooking with induction. Makes our life so much easier. Like, look at that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's it. So it really reduces your burnt meals, OK? That's what you want to see. But we can crank it back up, and you'll see how fast the induction will boil. So it'll bring us back to high cooking really fast. That wasn't me. Oh, you sure? You didn't hit a button. I blame Matt. Matt, you hit a button. So we're going to put, we're going to put some red pepper puree in. It'll give it that good color. Great sauce look, all right? These are all measured out, too. These are all measured ingredients. Truthfully, this recipe, you can actually catch it. It's on Heston Q is the, is the um, site. So it's, it's on there, minus a few variations. I added a couple things. I wouldn't lie to you. Was it almost? About two minutes. That's it. One more lap around. And you can eat. <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. Not just because I made it either, okay? I wouldn't lie to you, gang. So now we'll put it to low. We'll just let it, actually one above low is where we're gonna keep it. We're just gonna let it 
just do its job. Just like cook out a little bit. It's going to build a little bit of flavors. I'm just going to adjust it because I already seasoned it, already tasted it. Kind of just needs a little pinch. Okay. Little touch, pepper. Because I can't add salt without adding pepper. You know, it's like a must. Right, Matt? Yes, Both mats in the building. I love it. Hello. Hi, Matt. Three mats in a building. That's it. Hat trick. <laughs> Hat trick, it's a trifecta. Wait, do we have a fourth mat? Anybody? Is there a fourth? We got a J. All right, we'll let this just cook. I'm going to start bringing out some containers. Any questions? What do you got? You guys got anything? We're going to get a picture or anything? You know, nobody got a camera today? All right. Oh, okay, good. All right, even better. I love that. Mm hmm. Guys, once again, that was a, this pan, this pan is probably like, a, this pan is $1.99, I feel, but you can buy an optional Q burner too if you don't want, if you don't have the whole range, but, you know, maybe we'll give you a deal if you buy the whole range, so, you know what I mean, it's, it's our Don's, guys, what do you think, not bad, but, but yeah, more and more of these pans are coming out now with a Bluetooth, it actually has a battery right here in the handle, yeah, it pops out. You didn't see me do it. But this is the coolest part. This thing will probably get real mad at me, but here's the battery. Oh, nice. And it actually goes right in here, so. Isn't that cool? Great question. This is like, uh, it's waterproof, so you actually keep this seal. It's already sealed. You can get it wet. Oh, was, no, no, no dishwasher. Hand wash. Great question, though, you know, because that's the first thing I asked. If you give it to me, like, I'll... Uh, something's gonna happen. They said no, it's good. So I, I've hand washed. I've used it probably ten times already. So it's all right. Works for me. But we're gonna just bring this guy up because it's cold out. Sun's out. Like it looks bright now, Matt, huh? And we'll start playing it up. We're gonna put some cheese on this too. So this is the fun part. Anybody got any questions for me? Anything I can answer? Guys in the back, anything? All right, okay, all right. See, I don't use you what? What? I heard you. I heard you. You don't use pepper. You got salt has like its best friend. You know what I mean? It's like salt's best friend. You got to use pepper. No, I don't like Why? Too spicy. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh, I need the cheese. Excuse me, my friend. You're good. I forgot the cheese. You can never forget the cheese. Can't go without the cheese, like, you know what I mean? That's, that's first day jitters for me here. So we're just gonna put some cheese. We're gonna put the tortilla on the bottom. Guys, you could use like floured ones, corn ones, if you're at home. For here, I just did it small with a demo, so. You guys can just get a taste and can't eat all day. I want you here all day. I do. You know, we need all the booth support we can get here. You know, we love having you. You know. Uh oh, I flipped one. But so we're just gonna put that in here. Dun dun dun. 